hi guys welcome back again to my channel before we start I would like to announce the passing of my handy dandy spatula who's been with me for a long while but was unfortunately beheaded by my food processor you will be missed Anyways, hi, welcome back. We're back. We're jamming still. Today we're going to do chicken and Johnny cakes, but this video is going to be in two parts. It'll be two separate videos because I am not an expert like that to be juggling. <laughs> I'm not a, a, an edit, an editing expert at all. So um, it will be in two parts. Uh, thank you for the requests. Truth be told, this accident happened while I was doing a video for a request that I received from my daughter for the green seasoning, you know, blending it up and stuff. And I, I was trying to adjust the stuff in the food processor while it was going, you know, to help it out. And I went too far and got my girl got my girl it got my girl so that's the end of that i have to get me another spatula but yeah so in this segment we're going to be doing the fried chicken the way i do it and that was also a request thank you joe so this video is dedicated to you this is the way i do my fried chicken is wings i like wings i'm not a fan of chicken leg you know i eat it on occasion but i won't buy it to say that i'm gonna do it myself so yeah first off we're going to wash our chicken meaning we're going to put it to soak in water apple cider vinegar and lime it's only a few years ago I realized that based on a, a thread on Facebook from a guy, a guy that I met when I was in training at Fort Gordon, he put up a post in regards to washing your meat and it was in the comments I realized that some people actually think that we're going to wash it with soap and Ajax and Lysol and stuff. <laughs> nope. I'm gonna put it to soak in water, apple cider vinegar, and lime. And then we're going to rub out whatever grit we can find, pluck out any feathers if they're there, squeeze out some pus if you want. I usually cut some of the stuff out. So, do you, but we'll be right back. it soak for about five minutes and then I'm gonna come back to like cut off cut off the tips and take off like I don't know if you could see the feathers on this one but yeah I'll be back to do that all right time has elapsed now we're gonna If you like your wing tips on, you can leave them on. I prefer them off.
Okay, what I'm gonna do now is just separate the gunk from the chicken and I'll be right back. Okay, so what I'm doing is just rinsing the chicken. I switch pans, clearly. This is much smaller. So, this is the time you can go through. Okay, so next I'm going to pat these dry and transfer them to another bowl, then we'll start putting seasoning on them. This is another chance to see if you missed anything. All right, these are some of the seasonings that I'm going to be using today. We got some garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, curry, some adobo, and black pepper. I'm also going to be using some green seasoning as well, but that will come in later. Oops, sorry for the shaking. So all of this is seasoned to taste. Um, I do put a little curry in there, but not too much to overwhelm the taste. It's not curry fried chicken, but you know, it does give a nice little taste to it. So I put a little in there. I also put turmeric, but I seem to be out of turmeric right now. I have to look in my cupboard again. Um, too much paprika either right now I put a little more paprika in the flour so the co the color stays okay, so. and a little more adobo maybe just a tiny bit more I'm gonna check and see if I have any more turmeric guys hold on okay I found it daddy you remember this my father gave me this bottle of turmeric <laughs> I've refilled it since but it's the original bottle he gave it to me in now i'm gonna use both hands to rub this stuff in
Okay, we haven't added the black pepper as yet. We're gonna put a little here. We're gonna put more in the flour. Something else I'm gonna add is the Alvin's pepper sauce. This is optional, of course, but this is my little secret ingredient for most things. Can you see? You can't see me. Uh, camera angle is horrid. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so what we're gonna do is let this sit for about a half hour. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the fridge. Um, depending on what temperature you have where you're at, you could probably leave it on your counter. Just cover it up. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now is season the flour. I used unbleached flour if you have all purpose flour. Um, you could go ahead and use that. It's going to get a bit noisy because the guy is here to cut my grass. So I'm going to try to do it, do this as quickly as possible. Uh, I might mo mute most of this part. But what I'm basically doing is seasoning the flour with the same things that I seasoned the chicken with. The only thing I did not use or will not use is the curry. And if I feel like throwing a bit in there, I may but that's the only thing that's not out for you to see right now so that's what i'm going to be doing Okay, so what I'm about to do is put the oil to get hot in the meanwhile before we start to coat the chicken or dust it, whichever term that you use. I have some oil here that was extra from the salmon balls I actually put too much oil in the pan initially so I had scooped this out this is about two cups of oil and I'm gonna add some more oil to that Me 
medium heat. And we're gonna turn our attention back to the flour and the chicken. Rolling, yeah. So it's a light dust. Okay, so I've put light powder, light <laughs> powder, light flour on my chicken and I'm gonna go ahead and turn my attention back to the oil to see if it's good and ready. The way I check to see if the oil is hot is I look to see if it's making those little waves underneath. It's like, I don't know, it looks like little waves to me in the bottom. And I also take a pinch of flour and I throw it in there to see if it dissolves right away. If it dissolves right away, it's hot. Or it should be hot enough. It's hot.
So we're going to fry the chicken for about 7 to 8 minutes on each side. Okay guys, so it's been about eight minutes. I'm about to start turning I'm about to start turning the chicken. Sorry if you can't hear me. Okay, so I just wanted to jump in here this is the end of the video i'm just trying to get a thumbnail um don't mind my tree in the back it's still up my new business yeah um i just wanted to point out that i noticed while i was frying the chicken that if you place the the wings with the this side down just as they are right here It'll keep the whatever blood that's in the veins from coming out. But I did it the opposite way. I put it that way first for most of them, except one. And it the blood was oozing from the other side. So that's something I never noticed before, but I just wanted to point that out. Okay. Alright, I'm going to start putting out some of the chicken. Okay, so while the other the last two wings are frying, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here. But this is our little setup here to drain the oil and keep the chicken crispy. I put them on though well, they're not cookie sheets, but y'all y'all know what it is. <laughs> Some grill looking things. But yeah, this is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you and your views. I hope this year brings you lots of productivity and prosperity. Thanks again. Remember that of the eight types of love, agape is the strongest. So show somebody an agape love. See you guys. Bye.